gay pride and same-sex marriage successes, a sign from God that Judgment Day is very near. The worldwide success of the gay pride same-sex marriage movement is a dramatic sign provided by God to warn the world that the world is on the threshold of Judgment Day. In the Bible, God has given a number of signs to warn the world that Judgment Day and the end of the world are very close. For example, the nation of Israel was destroyed by the Romans in the year 70 A.D. As a consequence, for more than 1,800 years, it did not exist as a nation, nor did it have its own homeland. But then, in 1948, almost miraculously, it became a nation with its own homeland. God planned this event for many reasons. One was to demonstrate that the world is getting near to its end, Matthew 24, verses 32 and 33. Two, the rise of the charismatic movement that began several decades ago and has spread like wildfire throughout the world into so many churches, Matthew 24, 24, Revelation 13, 13 and 14, is another sign that God has given that indicates we are very close to the end. Three, the great spiritual decay that can be seen in most churches, 1 Peter 4.17, Jeremiah 25.28 and 29, is another sign that God has given. Four, another sign is given by God's word in 1 Thessalonians 5. There God warns that there will be a time when there will be true believers who will know from the Bible the time of the day of judgment. But a great many others who have the Bible will insist he will come as a thief in the night. That is, we cannot know the time. In our day, if any person who is a member of a church is asked, Do you know when Christ is coming? The answer that will usually be given is, The Bible says we cannot know. Jesus is coming as a thief in the night. If the questioner then asks, Are you ready to meet him whenever he comes? The usual answer that is given is, Yes, I am saved. I am ready to meet him whenever he comes. Effectively, they have said, Christ is coming as a thief in the night, but I am safely at peace with God because I am saved. This response is exactly the sign God has given in the Bible that assures us that Judgment Day is almost here. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 2 through 6, God warns, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. For ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For those who are not watching, Christ gives the frightening warning that he will come as a thief. Sudden destruction will come upon them. In Revelation 3, verse 13, God informs us, If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. To watch means to search through the Bible to learn from God when he is coming. This is the way we have learned that he is coming on May 21, 2011. This sign gives us the terrible warning that those in the churches who believe that we cannot know the exact day of Christ's return and that he will come as a thief in the night, but that they themselves are saved, will for certain enter into judgment day to endure the wrath of God. How awful! The gay pride sign. But no sign is as dramatic and clear as the phenomenal worldwide success of the gay pride movement. In the Bible, God describes his involvement with this dramatic movement. Remember, each and every word in the original languages of the Bible came from the lips of God. In the Bible, God instructs us that, about 4,000 years ago, there were four cities that were abruptly destroyed by God because of their wickedness. The key city was named Sodom, Genesis 19. In Sodom lived a man named Lot, who was a believer in the God of the Bible. God came to warn Lot to immediately leave Sodom because of its imminent destruction due to its great wickedness. God came to Lot's house, appearing as two very distinguished holy men. The men of Sodom, both young and old, had seen these distinguished visitors enter Lot's house. They demanded that they be allowed to know them. To know them is biblical language that means they wanted to have sex with them. They were so demanding that they were ready to tear down the door of Lot's house. Finally, God blinded them so that they could no longer find the door. 
The next morning after Lot and his two daughters were safely out of Sodom, God completely destroyed it and the three neighboring cities by fire and brimstone. Genesis 19, verses 24 and 25. Sodom's destruction illustrates Judgment Day. In Jude, verses 6 and 7 of the Bible, God instructs us that the destruction of Sodom is revealed to us as an example of the Day of Judgment. Fire is to burn up the whole world when God destroys it. 2 Peter 3, verse 10. God declares in Jude 6 and 7, And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them, in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. In many citations, the Bible warns us that there will come a time when the whole world will experience the wrath of God. God speaks of this as Judgment Day. Judgment Day is typified by the destruction of Sodom. As has been noted above, the sin which was occurring in Sodom just before its destruction was homosexuality. In Jude 7, God speaks of this sin as going after strange flesh. That dramatically relates to today's world. To understand this, we should look at some more information God gives us in the Bible. We will learn that the gay pride movement would successfully develop as a sign to the world that Judgment Day was about to occur. In Romans 1 of the Bible, God prophesies about a future time when homosexuality would become very important in the world. Almost 2,000 years ago, God declared in Romans 1, verses 24 through 27, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed for ever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Never in the history of the world before the present time have we seen the fulfillment of this prophecy. Throughout the history of the world, homosexuality was a sin that was present to a small degree, particularly as part of the worship of idols. However, in the history of the United States, for example, it was always seen as an exceedingly shameful act. We use the phrase, it was kept in the closet. But in the last 20 years or so, it has increasingly become a major success story. Not only in the U.S., but all over the world, it is being accepted as an alternative lifestyle. Rather than being hidden, it is proudly and loudly displayed. The title of the movement, Gay Pride, has been very accurately chosen. The Bible has clearly warned that such activity is sinful, just as murder, adultery, stealing, and lying are sinful. God warns very plainly in Leviticus 18.22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. In the United States, for example, this is the way it has always been regarded. A Great Change in the Morality of the World But something drastic has happened to the morality of the world. God tells us what has happened in the Bible verses which are written in Romans 1, verses 24 and 26. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, 